Hey guys, I'm Jay Bates. This is Sean Stone. What's up? And this is another I Get email. This one is from Tracy. Tracy says, I was reviewing the Grizzly bandsaw and came across your review. I had a question since you are not affiliated with Grizzly. We are not affiliated with Grizzly. Uh, are you happy? Are you still happy with the saw's capacity with the riser block and the power the saw has? If you had to do it over again, would you move up to the 17 inch two horsepower model? Yep. So both of us have the Grizzly G0 555 LANV bandsaw. It's a 14 inch bandsaw mm -hmm. and you've, you've got the riser block. I do, yeah. Yeah, we both put the riser block on it to <coughs> increase the resaw capacity to 12 inches. So mm -hmm. before we get into that particular saw, what saw did you come from before you had that one? I think it was a uh, squeaker model. <laughs> yeah, it was a very old, uh, I think the brand name was Enco, E-N-C-O, I think. It looked exactly like a, an old style jet. Uh, so it very well could have been made in the same factory or whatever. But Sounded a little different than an old jet. It though. was very, very squeaky. <laughs> hundred bucks, yeah. Anyway. Uh, anyway, so that's the model you came from, the model I came from. The only other bandsaw that I had, which um, I, I forget about this one because I only had it for a few days. I had a Skill brand 9-inch benchtop saw. Hmm. So we, we both have a little bit of experience with other bandsaws. Yeah. Um, am I happy with this particular saw with the riser block? Yes, I think it's uh, it does everything that I need it to do. It's mm -hmm. got plenty enough power, in my opinion, with a sharp blade. There's a caveat there. With a sharp blade to resaw at full capacity. Have you resawed anything at full capacity yet? Uh, I have, I have. And to be honest, I, I don't think my blade was uh, real sharp. So I had a little bit of an issue. Your blade not being sharp, huh? Well, that and I, had a, <laughs> and I didn't have a resawing blade at the time. Uh, I pick on him all the time about blades not being sharp. Yeah. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so yeah, like with any bandsaw though, if the blade isn't sharp, you're not gonna get optimal performance out of it and you obviously can't tell how well it's doing. Uh, so that being said, I think there is plenty enough power with the motor. That, what is it? A one and a half horsepower? Uh, three? Is it? No, it's one. Or one and a half? It is one and a half. I don't right? know what it is. We'll, we'll put the put it over the screen. Anyway, um, uh, I think it's got plenty enough power for a full 12 inch resaw cut. I resawed my uh, uh, checkerboard pattern I made out of hickory and walnut to make a uh, chessboard. Mm. Uh, that was full capacity. I don't think I've done anything else since then. Uh, but it, it cuts just fine. Yeah, so I was I was resawing, uh, just to touch on that just briefly, um, a piece of maple. And I think it was probably about 9 to 10 inches, so I don't think it was the full 12. Uh, but And what Jay was saying, yes, the sharp blade does make a difference. Um, and, and I haven't had any issues other than that. Uh, with the with the saw, I absolutely love it. It's um, compared to my last bandsaw, <laughs> it is a really really gem up uh, bandsaw. Um, there are a few things that you know I would say about the bandsaw that I wish like what that it would you know had different, and that's I wish the blade stopped sooner, you know, or had a break. Uh, and in that particular model, I understand. You have um, uh, kids who help out in the shop occasionally too, as well. So I think that yeah. plays a factor. Yeah, so the blade uh, uh, break, I don't know what you call that, blade break? Blade break, yeah. Yeah, so that would be something that I would like to have. And then also the dust collection on the bandsaw, it honestly, is just not that great. You, oh. know, you know, from the, the bottom wheel, the little uh, dust port, it doesn't work that great. Yeah, the dust collection on it is not good at all. I don't use the factory dust collection port. I've got two four-inch hoses attached to it with bungee cords, and that sounds like ghetto and trashy or whatever but the bungee cords are fantastic because it allows easy access to remove them to get to the saw yeah no i was going to touch on that just real quick because we both have the same bandsaw and then we both also had the similar setups and as far as dust collection so where jay you have the dust collection itself on the bandsaw but i've got my dust collector and a shop vac hooked up okay so you oh you have the <coughs> shop vac on the bottom side right yeah yeah so i've got it going up under m it's I kind of I got a little shot back hose and cut a notch out and it's like wrapped around the blade so to speak yeah it's a basically use the end of the hose the connection as a shroud to go around the blade yeah. but yeah uh, so if there's anything that I would change about that particular model if like I had input on how it's engineered is the dust collection I think we could mm -hmm. both agree on that and then one thing uh, this is beyond your question uh, as, as far as uh, the resaw capacity and such uh, 
and the power. The one thing that I would really, really like to see improved on that particular model is the trunnions. I think they're like stamped steel trunnions or something like that. They're not mm. strong at all. You can put a little bit of pressure on the front of the table and it, it moves just a little bit. I don't think that's ever affected anything that I've done with it as far as actually using the saw, but... I mean, you're not going to get a precision cut with a bandsaw anyway. Well, as, well, I mean, as far as... You know, with mine, you know, and I was trying to resaw with a blade, with not a resaw blade, but a smaller blade, and so I had to go back and clean that edge up. But I guess if you had it really tuned, I guess you could get a final cut from it. Yeah, I, you can. You can get a you can get a uh, a good thin veneer out of that thing, um, with a good blade and a good. Uh, I nice. think I think a good blade is the answer <laughs> for everything. A good blade is the answer for everything on a bandsaw. Uh, but anyway. Hopefully that answered your question. If you guys have any other questions, be sure to send us an email. And if we think that it could benefit a lot of people, then we'll just answer it real quick. You guys take care. We'll catch you on the next one. See you.